Hi, I'm Kathy Cairo with Keller Williams Greater Columbus. Have you looked around at what buyers are paying for homes and said to yourself, are they nuts? <laughs> are they, they're not only going at list price, which are, seem astronomical, but they're paying over list price. And then they're even willing to throw money if the house doesn't appraise above the appraised value just to get a house. You're sitting back and you're saying, have they just lost their minds? Well, one, yes, maybe, <laughs> they might, I don't know, but I'll tell you, uh, in my experience worth it, working with buyers, no, they haven't lost their minds. Number one, they want to own a home in a market where where, uh, where demand far exceeds supply. So in that kind of environment, buyers are willing to do more to get a home. But the other thing I want to define to you um, when you think about it is number one, what is a home worth? Well, if you use the adage we use for everything else, a home is worth what a buyer will pay for it. So if a buyer is willing to pay for it, the home is worth that, right? Well, in this case, the only difference is it's usually not the buyer's money. It's the bank putting a mortgage on the home. And so the bank has a say on what that home is worth. And they send in appraisers who put a value on a home. Well, as a realtor, I will tell you this, if I sent five appraisers on the same day out to the same home, I'd very likely get five different values. So even that isn't a concrete value, it's a working model for the bank, but who's to say that those values don't vary as well? The other thing I tell buyers to look at is this isn't a normal investment. Certainly it's an investment. You don't put in money into a home uh, with the idea you're gonna lose it one day. Anyone who owned a home between 2005 and 2012 really saw their values dip, but what did they still have? They still had a roof over their head. They still had a place for kids' birthday parties. They still had barbecues on the lawn. They still put their Christmas tree in the corner. Homes bring a whole lot more value than those stocks you're investing in day after day. So people are willing to pay more because it's a home. That's what they're in the market for. They want to buy a home. The other thing I would bring to your attention is the historically low interest rates. At the time I'm taping this video, interest rates are below 3%. Wow, it's hard to pass that up. What does that mean in real numbers? It means that the home uh, that you uh, bought for 300,000 in uh, 2021 at two and seven eighths interest rate has the same mortgage payment as a $280,000 home 10 years ago. Your buying power is so much more uh, with the lower interest rate. So again, buyers are doing that math in their head. They're saying, sure, I could wait till the uh, prices come down, but at that point, maybe interest rates will go up and it kind of is a wash. Let me tell you a story. You know, we've been in this crazy market now for going on nine years. I remember selling homes to buyers in 2013 and 14, where their parents and their friends were saying, you are crazy to overpay for that home, to have outbid 10 other buyers. Today, seven years later, those homeowners are calling me to sell again, having made tens of thousands of dollars are on that investment they made back in 13 and 14. So bottom line is real estate is speculative, just like many of our investments. There's no guarantee that the price you pay for the home will go up next year or down or stay the same. There is a guarantee though, that if you buy well and you stay in that home, real estate is also cyclical. It comes and goes, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down and goes up. But what I do guarantee you is the whole time you own a home, you're gonna have a place to put that Christmas tree. And that's a good reason to buy a home. I'm Kathy Cairo and I've written this great little free book. It's called 10 Ways to Win in a Challenging Market. I wanna offer it to you, it's free, it really is. Just go to ourohiohome.com, click on the contact tab, say, hey Kathy, I want a copy of your book and we'll mail it out to you. It gives you the strategies you need to know to be a homeowner and I'd love to make you one.